Hello everyone, welcome to episode 31 of my Terraria Let's Play. Last episode, we came to the Crimson and my one world, and we killed the Wallflesh and made it hard mode. The reason we're here is Icker. Icker stickers! <laughs> anyway, I only need, what? Yeah, 10 more. I looked it up, it's 30, so... Yeah, let's kill some Icker stickers. We're making the Golden Shower. Hey look, Icker sticker over there. Two Icker stickers! No, don't, don't go away! But yeah, I need 10 more, and I'll have 30. Once I have 30, I can make the Golden Shower. And the reason I'm making the Golden Shower is... An episode... Hey, that's actually good news. I kind of wish that happened earlier. Anyway, the reason I'm making the Golden Shower is... In a previous episode, the destroyer came along when I was making my house. And was like, Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! And, like, just kicked my, my butt. That was not cool. And there's Icarus stickers everywhere. This is awesome. Anyway. We're making this so we can defend ourselves. We're going to continue making the house probably after this. I think I'm going to get some wings real quick because the golden shower will make killing wyverns just a cinch. And that way we'll be able to fly around while making my house. And that'll, that'll save me some time. Hey, I kind of want to kill you because I think I want your dye. It's like red dye. Anyway, yeah. Because I want to get back to my house. I want to finish it. I want to get my NPCs, you know, situated. I want to get my inventory situated. I'm tired of having really bad chests. And yes, red husk is red dye. You, I, I haven't really shown you that yet, but... You, you, you talk to the die trader and you get like a die vat and you turn these like random items that you're getting in the world into die. And you can combine them and make all kinds of cool different dyes. Stuff like that. There's paint too. I can paint things. I haven't gotten into that. It's, it's more of an aesthetic thing. I mean, I could do it while making my house. I could paint things. I don't know if I will. That's all just, you know, personal taste. Do, do you want to paint something? I don't know, I kind of like the way Pearlstone looks. And again, I'm sorry, every time I film, my dogs are like, I'm going to shake my collar, because I can't. That's what that was. Okay, so, I only need what? I can't see up there. 23? Yeah, for some reason, it's it's white text on a yellow item, so it's a little hard to see. I need seven more Icker sticker things, or just Icker. Just need a few more Icker stickers to spawn. That'll be good. It's weird, because it's a Blood Moon, and yeah, finally one spawned. Okay, so I'm just going to rob Discord over here. Oh man, found this a couple episodes back and I am glad I did. So cool, we're at 26 now, so we only need 4. Which means, in 2 kills, potentially we could get it. Because I think their max drop is 3. Alright, you die. I'm going to teleport over here. Basically I have to kill as many things as I can. I think I saw an Icarus sticker over there, my map's kind of hiding it. Anyway, the reason I'm killing everything, I've mentioned before. Monsters take up, you know, like spawn slots, if you will. The more monsters that are on the screen at a time, the less that can spawn. And we just got enough. Cool. So we're good. We can get out of here. We can go to my regular world. And all we need is a bookcase, a spell tome, and how many souls tonight? Fifteen? Good. So we've gotten plenty while we're here. And you know what? I'm going to kill him because I'm just extra icker. Why not? I'll kill you too. Hurry up, teleport. N now it's going to be like... There's just so many I can't get out of here without, without having to kill them. <laughs> In the last episode, I spent forever looking for them. Okay, don't don't die. I'm like, no, I'm a hit away from death. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Cool. Floaty Ghost Banner. Oh, come on. Don't come from underneath me. I can't melee you. Alright, so... I just need to heal up. I'll be good. <laughs> Look at my health. <laughs> Holy crap. This is what I get for getting greedy and want an extra icker. Okay. So we're going to grab that and we're going to teleport. Ah, you'll never get me. Alright, so... I could have just saved and quit, but whatever. So we're saving and quitting. Going back to my regular world. I believe I have a bookcase in one of my shelves. And yeah. That's what... That's fine. Test world is just where I, I did all around. But anyway. I'm going to place down a bookcase by spell term from the wizard. Use our Icker and our Souls of Night, and we're gonna have ourselves an awesome spell. Because right now, honestly, I am I am lacking in the fire firepower department. I've got plenty of defense, and once we start killing bosses, we're going to get see it's five gold. Once we get once we kill bosses, we're gonna get hollowed bars, and we're gonna like work our way up the tiers, which is cool. So I don't think I have the bookshelf placed. I believe I put it in a chest. I got it when I was in the dungeon. Or I think I may have gotten it. Yeah, I got it in the underworld because it's like a obsidian version of it. Yeah, that looks like the obsidian one. Anyway, golden shower. Hopefully, it gives me a good reroll. Keen. I think that's good. 
That's just extra crit chance. So basically, I'm just gonna replace the water bolt because honestly, a water bolt does like one damage now to most mobs because we're so beyond water bolt. Not that I am bashing on water bolt, but we're working our way up the tiers. And this probably looks really ugly, but I'm gonna put it there, save inventory space. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my appease advantage in here. I will need it. I don't have red husks anywhere, as far as I'm aware. And I just leave these souls in my inventory in case I casually kill a monster. You know, they're just kind of like placeholders. Kind of the same thing with the pixie dust, really. Because I kill pixies all the time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Hey, get my inventory. I'm going to use Extractinator. Extractionator. Where'd that silt go? Just like vanished. Alright, anyway. I'm going to quick stack, try and clean up my inventory a little bit. Then we're going to go back over to the house. Get to it. Cool. Shut you. Quick stack. Quick stack. Okay. Oh, I got cobalt in my inventory, so I need to... Did I make a... Okay, so it's going in here. Yeah, I got cobalt, ore calcum, and titanium spawns in the other world. Which is basically every ore I don't have in here, which is really convenient if I ever want some of that stuff. But, but right now, I don't. Uh, let me make some more torches real quick. Can we make Icar torches? Are you for real? Can be placed in water. Okay, so it's kind of just a torch that works underwater, which I have no need for. So if it becomes night and we get a monster, like a boss spawn, well, if we get the destroyer, we'll have more of a chance because the twins, they might still pose a problem because they don't have the mega shark yet. We need to kill the destroyer because we can get the mega, mega shark and that'll help us. But anyway, the destroyer spawns. This is the golden shower. And it doesn't really use much mana. And you know, as as a precautionary thing, or maybe just uh, thinking ahead, I should probably also put this away. Yeah, see, I'm not thinking. I just want to go build my stinking house. I'm going to buy some mana potions. I think he can sell them. Who sells greater ones? Eh, they're expensive, but I got the money. I can't remember. I think it's M? No. Uh... I don't remember even what the mana potion <laughs> keybind is. But anyway, we can use mana potions if we run out of mana. There's also things that will actually auto-consume that for you. So you don't need to worry about it. You just auto-consume it when you're low on mana. It's an accessory. Alright. So. Garbage. Okay. Uh, that's right. Two pwn hammers. Let's sell the worst one. I don't need Icar anymore. Yeah, I know my inventory is really sloppy. It's because I've been working on this house. I'm going to put this over here because I plan on using this more than my poison staff. Let me sell something. Hey, Pip, I will sell you. How much is it worth? 78 silver? Cool. Okay, so I don't have a lot of pearlstone blocks, but I have a good amount of pearlstone bricks for now. And we're going to go over here. Now, it's starting nighttime, so I think, you know... <laughs> bosses could spawn again. I don't know what dictates this. Like, if they're just going to keep spawning every single night in a row now until I kill them. And if they do, that's going to suck. Let's just hope that's not the case. I always thought it was like a random chance every hard mood night. <sighs> yeah. Destroyer kicked her butt the other episode. Nothing I could do. I tried. I was not prepared. Hey, look, there's my, there's my tomb. <laughs> Removed by Death Laser. It didn't happen. I never died. Prove it to me. Okay, th there is video evidence out there that it happened, but <laughs> it's not in this world. Alright, let me get out of here. I'm just gonna get rid of these. It's kinda silly that this background is still here. Yeah, yeah see, now now we pee on things. <laughs> that's that's the joke. I mean, I'm sure everyone gets it, but that's the joke of the cold shower. Alright. So, I was diddling with my NPC house. Hey, why are you spawning up there, you jerk? I'm just, just placing torches in here. You know, it might be... Oh, might be smart to start placing walls here and getting the actual NPC houses going so the NPCs move here, and then I can just move my stuff here. Like, move my spawn. Okay, so you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop placing that. It's pointless. Pro wood wall. So, the whole, whole, like, what I wanted to do was do this. I wanted to have this cool fancy outline that comes from Pearl, oh, too far away, from Pearlwood Walls. I thought that was really cool when they added this. I don't, as far as I'm aware, there's no other blocks that like make that fancy outline like that. Anyway, that's cool to me. Some people don't like it. 
Some people can shove it. No, I'm kidding. Just that's what I like. Uh, oops, passed it. Cool. All those monsters down there. The bigger the grouping, the better. You could add here, because Golden Shower pierces enemies, and I will show you what Golden Shower does here in a sec. More enemies down there, the awesomer. The more awesome. I'm with awesomer because it sounds grammatically incorrect, therefore more awesome. Err. <laughs> uh, I am probably taking off some grammar Nazis. Sorry. All right, you guys stay down there. I'm gonna want you. And you know what? Uh, couldn't hurt to make a bunch of these. That way I can just, you know, walk across here. Cool. And you may think these houses might be a little bit small. What I usually do is I put a door here and I open it up inward, not outward. And it usually works out really well for me. All right, so. Okay, now it's nighttime, so now anything could happen. Hopefully nothing happens. But yeah, golden shower, it pierces. And it gives them these, this debuff where they take extra damage, lowers their defense. And it has really good knockback. Look at that. Best part is when they're, they're yellowed and they try and run away off screen or in the dark somewhere. You see them because they glow. And it just chews through monsters. And once I have mage armor, it'll take way less mana and do way more damage. So, now I can defend my house at night. Cool. I'm not sure what I want to replace, like, place in the backdrop here, because if I keep placing Pearlwood while I lose the little effect here, I'm not sure. I'm probably just being really picky there. Alright. I, uh, I, I want... I want dungeon wood walls. Or not dungeon wood walls. I am retarded. I want dungeon doors, like the wooden ones there. Some of them are really cool looking. Pearlwood wall. Cool. I'll make a bunch of you. Oh. Oh, that messed that up. I was just trying to dodge this guy. Don't need any fallen stars. I have full mana. Ugh. My spacebar keeps wonky. That's why that happens. I right, jump up into a wall repeatedly. Won't happen anymore when I have wings. So, you know, maybe maybe when it's daytime, I'll go get some wings. Who knows? I know where the floating islands are, so it won't be hard to get there. Get them. Let's just place the rest of this wood here. I probably want to go over and get some more pearl wood. Make I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Actually, here I can check. Say, so I don't know what the furniture for pearl wood looks like. I never really pay attention to that. Might look cool. There's, there's better looking furniture out there. I'm aware. Gotta get used to the acre sticker arc. Oh, that's cool. So I, oh, I'm out of resources. So I'm gonna go over here again. I'm going to actually some chops down some of these trees. And yeah, and I think the dungeons over here. Yeah, dungeons over here. And it's not hard mode dungeon mobs yet because we didn't kill Plantera. And Plantera is what starts hard mode dungeon mobs. That's so you can't kind of skip tiers and tiers of stuff. I like it. I agree with it. Okay. Yeah, that that's the right tool for the job. Silly me. Swinging a hammer at a tree. I guess if you did it long enough, it'd work. Oops. Yeah, you get out of here. Don't shoot me. I kind of destroyed this landscape. I didn't kind of, I did. <laughs> oh well. Can't wait till this takes less mana when I get some armor. That'll be awesome. And some regening accessories and stuff. I don't typically play mage, that's why I'm not like super adept at it. I'm usually a melee character. But I kind of want to give mage a go. This should all start being pearl wood, which is cool. That's double torches, whatever. Kill you. Just magic works so well in this game. Especially with the magnet sphere and stuff. You'll see that later, that's a dungeon loot thing. Dungeon loot item. It's a spell that I shoot in a room, and basically just kind of auto-picks people, monsters, whatever it wants to attack, and kind of shoots like a beam at them. Pretty cool. It lasts like, what, seven seconds is what the wiki said? I don't remember. Yeah, this is where our corruption and stuff are meeting. Our hollow. Get out of here, I'm not afraid of you. You get out of here. I'm not afraid of you as long as I have mana. Which, thankfully, whenever you kill something while using a magic spell, 
it's a chance of dropping a mana star, so you can really just keep going. Let's grab some pearl stone while it's night. Ah, no, maybe I want to go to the dungeon and get doors. Maybe I want to go to the dungeon and start picking up furniture. I'm sure this has taken a lot of people off. I said that before, but like, I'm just trying to make my house pretty. And this is going to take a few episodes. I mean, I can't do anything about it. Unless I just, uh, you know, I skipped it and I'm like, hey, this is what my house looks like. And for all you know, I cheated something. Which is not fun, and I don't want to do it. But that's what people think. I'm like, ah, you cheated! So I'm going to try and do everything on camera. You could skip ahead a few episodes if you so choose. Who am I to judge? Do whatever you want, man. It's your free time. So let's get some pearl stone, because inevitably we will need it. And we're going to need a lot of pearl wood, because pearl wood walls. Okay, it's a torch. You and I was having trouble seeing, for some reason. How much pearl stone do I have? 120 something. Uh, that's not a lot. I have 100 some bricks, though. I just want to, I just want to maybe for this episode, get the NPCs moved in. And you know what? If that's what I'm going to go for, I think I want to go to the dungeon and just rob some furniture from it real quick. Just because I like the way it looks. Kind of like really mixing and matching my house here. I got pearlwood stuff. <laughs> and then I got dungeon stuff. You know, it makes no sense. Oh man, we really need wings. We'll be able to fly a lot longer. Or hover. I'll take that fallen star. No point not grabbing it. Deathweed. I got to remember though, for a farm, to harvest that deathweed during a blood moon. So next blood moon, I need to like... Mental note. Go farm Deathweed. Deathweed only drops seeds during the Blood Moon, which is kind of unfortunate. So if you have a farm for it, you can like you can harvest it whenever. But if you don't harvest it during a Blood Moon, you're not going to get the seeds. Which you're going to need the seeds. If you want to keep the farm going. No, not a pick. No, I'm holding shift. Thank you. Okay, take that phone. Sorry, that's the crater of sand we you know stole. It's still uh, spreading, which is cool. And this will eventually become hollow then, too. Oh. Okay. So, I think there's a demon altar down there. It's purple. Cool. Dungeon. So, we're already here. Neat. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Meteor kind of just destroyed this. Alright. So, dungeon doors. These are the doors I'm talking about. I like these doors. I think they look pretty cool. All about you. Okay. So, let's just go down to the dungeon. Shouldn't be a problem because it shouldn't. This should actually be pre hard mode enemies down here. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird. The safest place after hard mode is the dungeon. <laughs> All right. Okay. Go down there. Jungle key. Don't have that yet. That's how you get the piranha na 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 gun. Get that later, maybe if we're lucky. Make a farm for it. It's really easy. Really easy to get. It just takes time. Okay. Cool. So there's more doors. I mean, they do two to me. I one hit him. I like these chairs. Blue dungeon chair. It doesn't look very blue to me. It's kind of more grayish. Maybe I'm colorblind. It's like bluish gray. I don't even know. I'm glad I put these, you know, wood platforms here. Now that's a cool chair. Table. That's why I robbed the furniture from here. Because as far as I'm aware, you can't craft it. It's a cool looking door too. That is also cool. Oh, 1.2. I love you. I say that a lot. That's, actually, I think there's going to be a Christmas update this year. There's already like a Christmas event kind of thing that goes on every year. But I think they said there's going to be a Christmas update. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. I will most likely still be running this Let's Play during that. But, you probably want to play it too. Alright. So, stealing all this furniture. Gothic chair. I guess it's because it's a different backdrop. Backdrop. Go away, spike ball. I wonder if I can make it yellow. Nope. That would be funny. Ouch. Okay, so I don't think we're finding any. Blue, or, I don't think we're gonna find any blue dungeon stuff down here. It might be gothic. Could be wrong. That hurts. That's 20 damage. How many doors do I got? Six. I need a lot more. I have what? Eight, sixteen, or I have like sixteen NPC rooms. I think it was. Hey, mechanical eye. Now, as far as I'm aware, one point two. If if you haven't killed a mechanical boss, you well, if you haven't killed that specific mechanical boss, you can get the item that summons it as a drop from like any monster. 
It's just like not super common. So now we don't have to make one if we want to summon the twins. But I want to go for the destroyer first. Because with golden shower, he's going to be the easiest. I don't need golden keys anymore, but I'll kill him anyway. In fact, I'm probably going to have to kill all these things because they're going to annoy me. Just look at golden shower tearing things up. That's nice because it lights up stuff. Go away. Okay. What doors do I have here? I'll check in a second. Yeah, I'm getting gothic furniture. I don't want to like mix and match, mix and match too much. It looks silly. Who knows? Maybe it'd look cool. I don't know. I mean, when I like things all the same. Not in real life. I don't know why. It's like. I, th I think one of the title screen menu things, I don't even know what it's called, but when, when your title bar when you load up Terraria, it actually says, like, OCD Discovery Simulator. Like, the, the more you play, the more you get OCD, and you're just like, I want to make this look pretty. <laughs> it's a byproduct of the game. Which, just lost. That's right, I went there. I, I didn't intentionally go there, but I just realized that's what I said. I'm sorry. Some people are probably like, you're a faggot! Yep, yep, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, see, I think I ran out of torches when I was exploring this the first time. I was using flares, so that's why some of the areas are actually dark. Because there's no flares. Disappear. I don't know why I just mined that instead of, you know, going through that hole. Eh. Check my inventory real quick. Blue dungeon can. Oh, that's cool looking. Don't need pumpkins. I can farm them later if I need them. Bones I'm going to keep getting, because every time I kill something, they drop it. I think I can do there. See? Just got some. My doors do I have? I didn't check. So I have plenty of doors to actually make the NPC housings, but I, I don't have enough chairs if I want to use these. Dungeon chairs. Workbench. Wow. That's a lot. I think some of them just despawned. Whatever. And I'm just going like, to go on through and raiding my dungeon here again. All for aesthetics. Oops. Shift is your friend. Get out of here. Take this chair. Take this chair. Take all the chairs! Ow. I don't even see those spikes there. What am I doing? I like these torches. Those are... Well, I guess they're candles. They're really cool looking. I like chairs and stuff to have. So I'm only going to need one chair. I have enough chairs. I don't have enough tables if I want to make, you know, everything out of the same stuff. I don't think I'll, I will find enough tables and stuff. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can craft these. I think it can only be found, you know, naturally in the world. Okay. Nothing here. Get out of here. Yeah. I'll take you. I'm pretty sure this episode's getting a little long, which means I might not be able to get back to my house. I can see stuff. Let's just check for some tables and stuff real quick. Oh, I thought you were dead. Okay, more tables. Good. Or work benches, whatever. See, like, I was talking about what kind of things I want to put on my pillars for lighting. I mean, there's all kinds of cool light fixtures and stuff you can make. All kinds of stuff, really. I mean, I haven't even hit the surface. So this is where I got my bookshelf, actually. It wasn't down in the underworld. And there's a chair here, but I need tables. And this is all gothic stuff, darn it. I want blue stuff, because it's what I have the most of. There's our crims or our corruption chest. It's good to know. I am placing torches everywhere. Okay. Why? It's because I'm pressing shift. Yeah, it's just hit me. You're only doing ones, whatever. I've been up on trying to dodge you. I just kind of destroy those guys. Right of Discord. Yes. Okay. There's our frozen chest. Sweet. It looks like I'm running out of dungeon. So, you know what? I'm sure people are like, this is boring. Rightfully so. Kinda is. I'm green. Oh, I'm poisoned. That makes sense. That was weird. 
Alright, so we're gonna go back to the house. We're gonna make a couple NPC houses, I think, and we're gonna have to wrap it up. <sighs> yep. So, I'm just gonna need torches. I already got the backdrop going. I got plenty of doors, and I've got t chairs and tables. I mean, I could have just crafted regular wood ones and just... Alright, that's it. Ah, it's a little plain Jane. Nah. Nah. Alright, cool. Imagine what those cool little lantern things would look like hanging there. I think they look pretty cool. So let's go up here. Oh, do I have pearl stone or pearl wood? I do. So I'll finish that house later. But for now, doors. And what I do is I just open them up inward like this. And I leave them open. Oops. I leave them open so I don't have to keep opening the door every time I want to go see what the NPC you know, has to offer if I need to talk to them. So workbenches, tables. Well, why don't I like do a table in this room? Hopefully this, these houses are big enough. I think they are. Uh, is that symmetrical? Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting anal again. I'll put blue chairs in the back. Yeah, that's symmetrical as far as I'm aware. And they need a light source. So for now, they're just getting a torch. And then we'll put like a, a workbench and a workbench will do table. We'll just like stagger them. Now this should be NPC housing. So, oops, let's query it. Suitable. So, who do we want to bring over first? I think the person we have the most memories with is Walter. I mean, you know, him and my whole chest thing. And we'll just bring over Goblin Seeker. I'll rearrange my NPCs and stuff later. You know, based on like importance. Like the ones I visit the most at the bottom and then the ones I don't really go to at all up top. So let me place a workbench. Yeah, workbenches are one block smaller. I need to go over one more. Workbench. Uh, that's pretty symmetrical to me. Whatever. Now you guys need a chair. That's the right chair. Gotta watch out because I have gothic ones and stuff in my inventory. Not that it really matters, but... Okay, so let me just check again. So, this was episode 31. This episode, we progressed on the house, went to the dungeon, got the golden shower, which is the big deal. We went here and we just stole all those chairs, all those tables, all those doors, all that stuff to make our house look cool. I'm just happy we got the golden shower. We also got a mechanical eye, so we can kill the eyes, the twins, whenever we want, whenever we're capable, really. So, this is episode 31. I will see you next time, and thanks for watching.